be fun. So, you know what else is cool? <laughs> Our mornings? Yeah, but, but wait, fast forward past tomorrow. Okay, let's pretend tomorrow's not going to happen. <laughs> and then after that, I like it. Yeah, well, we're trending in the right direction. We're definitely going to be warming up over the next several days. If you're out driving tomorrow morning, the wipers you'll need likely because we do have some rain in the forecast. It was dry today, sunny as well. You look at Winston-Salem, just a few thin clouds across the area. Our temperatures are going to stay above freezing tonight. So that's that's a plus, right? 51 degrees right now in Winston-Salem with a light south-southeast wind. We've got 41, though, in Martinsville, 46 in North Wilkesboro, as well as Gale Axe Mountain area at 48. Uh, mid 40s pretty common across the area. We did get close to normal this afternoon with a high of 61, but anything but this morning 29. That's how we started off. We usually average a low of about 40 this time of year. High temperature tomorrow is going to be a little bit below normal thanks to clouds and rain. But then this is what Christine's talking about. The warm up that's on the way 76 Thursday, 81 on Friday and then staying mild. It looks like that 81 degrees on Friday seems really warm, right? But our record Records this time of year really get up there into the upper 80s and close to 90. This is an old record too, 1907 of 91 degrees. So even though it's warm Friday, probably not going to be record setting. We do have scattered showers in the forecast tomorrow. It's mainly in the form of light rain, dry Thursday, Friday, and then rain comes back in time for the weekend. Our weather impact for tomorrow is for that light rain. It should be less than a tenth of an inch, so it's going to be more of kind of a pesky rain event. We will see it sort of easing out, I think, by early afternoon, but yeah, it could mean a wet morning commute for you, especially if you live in our mountains and foothills. We're already getting some indications of some moisture in the atmosphere. I think initially some of this is going to be Virga, meaning it evaporates before it gets down to the ground because the air is relatively dry. We may get a few sprinkles or some light rain that start to settle in in the overnight. I especially think we'll get some rain in the mountains by early tomorrow morning. Upper 30s, we're in the low 40s for the triad and for the foothills. At hour by hour forecast showing you about 7.30 tomorrow morning you see the timestamp right up there and then you can notice by the late morning hours so if you had to work a little bit later I think you'll have a better chance of it being kind of soggy toward lunchtime we still have some of the light rain around by afternoon it does start to dry out the clouds may even thin out just a little bit forecast high tomorrow is about 55 degrees we get a little west southwest wind but it's not terribly windy rain chances are highest and the impact is for mainly morning and midday before it tapers off there into the afternoon for the foothills, we'll also have pretty much cloudy skies by late day with a high of 53 and that rain is in the morning and midday. For the mountains, high temperature about 50 degrees. Rain is likely for much of the morning and should start to taper off after lunchtime. Now, we don't have to deal with freezing temperatures. But we have a big warm up on the way. In fact, it's very warm in that Thursday to Friday time frame. We do have the showers likely on Saturday, and that is coming from that storm system you just heard about. Yeah, another one with the rain and the snow that is making its way to the east. So we'll look for that wet weather to arrive on Saturday, and we do have some scattered showers around. So here's a look at our seven day forecast, and specifically for Saturday, which is a weather impact day, we are looking for to see that we will have some moisture moving in morning, midday, and then probably by evening things are a little better. We've got isolated thunder in the forecast as well on Saturday. Stay with us. We'll be right back.